Ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening, this will be on the 95 kilogram under every way. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he's coming from Portugal. Ladies and gentlemen, bring the noise for Chao Chavas Silva. We move to light heavyweight action here at the FIA World Grand Prix from Odessa, Ukraine. My name is Daniel Austin. Thank you for joining us on FIAFights.tv or however you are watching around the world. This is going to be an interesting one. Jua Chapa Silva of Portugal, a fighter who has really carved out a reputation for himself in Western Euro Europe in his home country of Portugal, in Spain, and in other countries, but has yet to really gain a lot of attention internationally. I know he did have a fight in China and was successful there, but here at the FIA World Grand Prix, it's a whole nother level in a massive opportunity for Silva. And now, ladies and gentlemen, calling his opening to the black corner. Ladies and gentlemen, from Croatia, please welcome to Mladen! I think that any time a champion steps into the ring, if, if they hold a belt and they step into the ring, then it must be a title fight. It's just my opinion. Because if not, things like this happen. Mladen Kujunjic, the last time he fought here in FIA, he had a fight against the current FIA light heavyweight champion, Alexandru Borduja, and he beat him, and he won by split decision in an extra round. And so how can Alexandru Borduja say that he's the best? I mean, if you're the champion, obviously you're the best. But you just got beat by Kunyujic. So there, there remains something to be done here in the in the light heavyweight division in FIA. I think that Kunyuji has to fight Borduja again, and he has to fight him with the championship on the line. There's no other excuse for it. If you beat the champion, then you have to be the best. He's definitely a number one contender at the least, and a very dangerous individual. And now, presenting the wide corner, AJ 35, weighing 95 kilogram, height of 1.80 meters, having a personal record of 34 fights, 27 wins, one draw, six losses. He's fighting for top team Portugal. Ladies and gentlemen, from Portugal, bring the noise for Yo Chapas Silva. Presenting the black corner, age 30, weighing 95 kilogram, height 1.89 meters, having a personal record of 36 fights, 26 wins, and 10 losses. He's fighting for Dynamite Fighting Club. Bring it up from Croatia to Mladen Kujunte. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super high weighing under 95 kilogram light heavyweight bout. Three minute, three round, extra one round, K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Suhan Yulian. Gentlemen, you're fighting fair rules, obey my command all the time. No clinching, no elbow. Shake your hands if you want to. Go to your corner. Judge, judge. First round, fight. Round one. Here we go, folks, and right away you can see the difference 
physically between these guys. Look at Silva, he's short, he's powerful, he's built like a brick house, but he's a lot shorter and thicker. And Kunyuji looks like a heavyweight in there. Big, powerful right hand that time, and he didn't even throw it with complete conviction. Talking about Kunyuji. Popped him with a left hand as well. Can't afford to take too many shots like that. Can Silva. Because Kunyujic has got the power, and he's got the technique, and he, he knows how to string those things together in perfect unison to put you flat on your back. 26 and 10 overall is the Croatian fighter in the red and white trunks. And has some pretty big victories in his career as well, including wins over world-class opponents. Fight. Like Andre Stojka and Vasil Dukar. Oh, that was a tricky little shot Fight. there. It stumbled him, but you can already see the effects that Kunyujic is having on Silva. Physically, you can see it. He's taking big, deep, panting kind of breaths in there at times. And he's certainly got some reddening developing on his face, around his eyes, on his forehead, and also on the lead left leg as well. There's another good low kick. Look at the left leg, too, of Kunyuji. Tattooed there by Jua Chapa Silva. Oh, my! What a shot that was. Connected very solidly. And you could hear the echo bounce off of every single wall here in the Odessa Palace of Sports. That kick that I reacted so strongly to landed in the rib cage area under the right elbow. And it's kind of hidden from view because he's got his gloves up like that. But once you take a good look at that thing, it is nasty. Brought the, maybe he was going for an ax kick of sorts and he brought it all the way around the world. Right hand lands down the middle. That shot was nearly where the sun doesn't shine. And it shines just about everywhere here in Odessa. Good body shot downstairs by Silva to end a very damaging round number one. go folks take another look at it man these two were laying into each other weren't they I mean the way that they load up with some of their shots is spectacular watch this jumping knee there from the Croatian and a body kick it would make your mama cry Second round, fight! Back to work here, round number two from the FIA World Grand Prix in Odessa. Hard to say who the fans are gonna be supporting in this one. There's no Ukrainian fighter in the ring right now. We've got Portugal versus Croatia, but that's what I like about FIA, you know? Not every fight needs to be a fighter from the local country fighting a, somebody who's not. It's about finding out who's the best. Go, that one grazed the groin. And as, as far as who is really the best here in FIA, in the light heavyweight division, well, it remains to be seen. And I'm not taking anything away from Alexandru 
Borduja, who's the current champion, because he had to go through a four-man tournament where he was maybe the underdog to win that thing. I, not too many people picked him to win that tournament. I did, by the way. But <laughs> if I can pat myself on the back. But anyway, a, a, a fantastic competitor. Maybe the best light heavyweight in Moldova and in FIA. But as I said, he did lose to Kunyujic. So somewhere down the line, those two have got to fight again. But right now, we've got ourselves a heck of a fight right now. Silva, this is his debut in the promotion. If he could beat Kunyujic, that would really throw the whole division into chaos. Break. <clears throat> There's that powerful hook downstairs into the liver area from the Croatian. Stop. Trying to give it back just as good as he got it Fight. there was Jua Silva. Tried to sneak the knee in. Hit him with the left. Good, powerful right hand that. I'll tell you what, Silva has got one heck of a chin. He has taken Kunyunjic's best shots and he has not backed down at all. Oh, and he's giving it back too. Fight. And it's really starting to dawn on Kunyujic if it didn't in the first round, here in round number two, that he is in for a war. As I said, Silva not as uh, world traveled as Kunyujic and, and not as accustomed to fighting at uh, Fight. high level fights as Kunyujic, but certainly proving Stop. that he should be taken more seriously and, and should be given more chances like this. Standing toe to toe. Stop. Head back. Fight. Stop. End of round two. You can see some special guests here in attendance. Stanislav Lonita on the right. The current featherweight champion in attendance and also the Eagles MMA heavyweight champion as well as we take a look at replay of round number two some of the best moments there were a lot of them there were a lot of great moments in round number two wow you can see the eyes of Silva looked like he was hypnotized there for a moment Round three coming up. This is going to be a very important round. Whoever wins this one might win it all. Round three, final round. Fight. Stop. Fight. Stop. Whoa, he <laughs> fell into the ropes <laughs> very awkwardly there. Fight. Did Kunyujinj. The ring is not your friend. Stop. No holding. Step back. Fight. You can see the sweat and the water just flying off these two individuals. They really loading Fight. up with everything they have. Neither guy has slowed down at all Break. since the opening bell here. They continue to keep up this pace. Not only does that tell me that both these guys are just in incredible condition, but it also tells me they are capable of absorbing a tremendous amount of punishment. Stop. Fight. Oh, good right hand there, and then goes downstairs to follow it up. Wow, both guys digging in low kicks, just standing in front of each other. Look at this action. Good night. Fight. Stop. Oh, now look at this now. Kunyujic leaning on his opponent. Is it a sign that he's starting to get fatigued? 
clubbing left hand around the corner there from Silva. Whoa, wait a minute. Stop. Up, up. Wow, both guys are ripe for the pickings now, I think, at this point. Inside a minute, they, they can't do this forever. They can, something may crack here in the, in the final 50 seconds or so. Somebody may finally cross the line. <laughs> oh my, back and forth they go, and it did. Something finally did give. Four, Silva five, goes down in round three. Six, that is huge seven, for Kunyuji. Hey, look at me. Are you all right? He's dazed and confused. Kunyuji comes right back now with a big cracking knee. And it looks like up, a car wreck in the ring. Up, up, up. Fight. That looks like two trains on the same track just crashing into each other. Good Lord. Look at this. <laughs> oh my! Look, he's just talking trash to him! What an ending to an unbelievable fight! A feeling I told you folks I had a funny feeling that something was gonna go south that somebody was gonna go because you just you can't have it's just the laws of physics you cannot defy the laws of science something's got to give eventually and it did and Silva in round number three got dropped oh my this was a brutal contest Look at Kunyuji, left after right after left after right. Both these guys stood toe to toe and were just swinging for the fences for three rounds. And it finally gave out, the bottom finally gave out for Jua Silva. But hats off to a man, he's a tough customer. But I think that knockdown is gonna give Kunyuji the fight. We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by unanimous decision for the Black Corner, Blooded Quartante! Lockdown in round three gave Jua Silva the fight, but oh man, in the meantime, for three solid rounds, an incredible contest. We'll be right back with another featherweight contest right after this. Contact is made, we don't play, stay on track. Get in our way, believe that you go.